Hi everyone, alright here's how I set up my Saru. Step 1, buy a Saru. Step 2, find a working micro SD card reader that works. Not like these cheap pieces of crap. I did eventually find one that works. Put your micro SD card into it and plug it into your PC. Locate the card reader in Windows Explorer. Right click and choose format, don't judge me on WinRAR. Change the file system to XFAT and the allocation size to 64 kilobytes. Give it a sensible name like Saru. Press start. Double check it's your SD card you're formatting and not an important drive and confirm with OK. Once formatted, open the drive and create a new folder called Saru. Within that folder, create two new folders, one called ISO and one called Update. Head over to GitHub for the latest Saru firmware, link in description, and download the latest zip file under Asset. I've translated the page from Chinese, but it wasn't as exciting as I'd hoped. Anyway, right click, save it wherever. Don't be that guy that saves it to your desktop though. I've already done this in a test run, so ignore that. I'm just going to save over it. With that downloaded, open the zip and click through to the three files. Drag them into your own Saru folder on the SD card. Now you'll need some games to play, and these need to go in the ISO folder. Funny enough, it doesn't play ISO files, you'll need bin and Q files within their game directory. I've only got two at this point. Copy them over to the ISO folder on your SD card. I've sped this up a billion times faster. As you can see, they are folders of the game name, and inside there are the bin and Q files. You can see here there's a file called sarukufk.txt, we'll go into that in a moment. Let's put the SD card into the Saru and boot the Saturn up. As you can see, the menu is in Chinese. We can make a guess that the top option is probably the game selection screen. And it is. The eagle-eyed among you will notice that they're not in alphabetical order. Not an issue here, but if you had more games, it might be. So with the SD card back in the PC, let's open the config file. Notepad is fine. At the top, it lists available configurations and examples. Note the top example is showing one is English for the language selection. So scroll down to the global settings and under language ID, change zero for Chinese to one for English. If you add sort underscore mode equals one, then that forces alphabetical order. For some reason, it doesn't give that as an example above. Save and close that. We are done now, but because I'm me, I thought the black and white screen looked a bit bare, so I've quickly knocked up a background. You can download pre-made ones, or make your own. You can download my one at my Patreon. And as long as they're a 320 by 240 PNG and called mainmenu underscore bg dot gif, then they're fine. Now let's put the SD card back into the Saru, and the Saru back into the Saturn, and our finger on the power button. Whoosh. And there we have our menu in English with custom background, and under the games section, our games are in alphabetical order. Just another thing, and it is my fault for getting a clear case, but I can't stand the LEDs or the tacky sticker on the cartridge. This cartridge is for Sega Saturn only. Cartridges are precision instruments. Please handle them with care, observing the following points. Do not place in locations where it may get wet due to high temperatures or water. Do not subject the product to strong impacts, disassemble, or touch the terminals. Well, I'm going to break at least one of those rules. First of all, I'm going to peel off that tacky sticker. You don't need to see me do that. Even with that off, look at this awful tacky LED mess. I'm going to cover them up. Obviously, you need to break the rule about opening it up, which is as easy as removing two screws and sliding the front down. Here are the little shiny culprits. I was going to use electrical tape, but that's literally tacky. As in, they come off eventually, leaving tacky residue. I'm going to use some black acrylic paint. The black nail varnish I have is rubbish. Now, acrylic paint, I believe, is suspended in water, so I'm going to be very sure that this is dried thoroughly, otherwise it'll act as a short. With those blobs thoroughly dried, I put it back together. By the way, I wouldn't recommend doing this until you're sure your Saru is working. What I might do later on is poke the LEDs with a pin so that if it is important to see the lights, as they are there as operational feedback, then you'll be able to see them as a tiny dot, not something that would light up your room like they would by default. There it is, back in, and now it blends in so much better with the Saturn itself. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see more, you know what to do. If you're not interested, then thanks for sticking around to the end here anyway. It's much appreciated. Bye!